Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to day 18 of designing an island in 30 days without Nintendo Online. For some reason I skipped past Isabel today so I don't actually know what's going on. I think just Leaf is here but before we get into all that I'm gonna go ahead and do our daily routine. I'm gonna check my mail, look for my bottle on the beach, once again not find my money tree, shake my trees, and thankfully I don't have to water any flowers today because it's raining and we also got a whole bunch of hybrids. I'm gonna start planting them in here because I am gonna make this whole little heart shape full of pink flowers so i'm gonna start putting them here so they can hopefully duplicate and spread let's also see who's crafting today it's not frobber he's just um oh he's cooking oh wait <laughs> i was like what the heck is he doing veggie cookies thank you frobber winnie put a shirt on how many times do i have to tell you this oh my goodness okay i don't think anybody else is crafting so i'm just gonna go check the shops really quick before we get back into decorating the seafood restaurant from yesterday Ooh, i'm gonna get the cypress bathtub and do they have the umbrella they don't just another petal parasol all right so we're gonna dive right back in to working on the restaurant that i was working on yesterday we did make some decent progress also our incline is not built yet right now we have 872 bells and donations okay so the issue that i started running into was that i just didn't have any more tables and chairs so we need to remedy that very quickly now let's see what we got going on the nook shopping app we don't really have that many options i think our best option is gonna be an iron garden table so let me go grab some of those i think i have maybe one or two but i'll probably have to craft some and then we're gonna have to order more chairs because i did not remember to order more chairs last night i totally forgot crafting uh, i don't have any customization kits i'm debating if I should do white or if I should try blue to go with like our little blue restaurant theme that we have going on because I don't want to try one and then hate it and then have to blow another five design kits what the heck I think I'm gonna risk it and go for blue because I don't know if I'm gonna like the white with like the brown chairs okay moment of truth uh it's not bad well it's too late we're just gonna stick with it whether i like it or not because i'm not yeah i'm not wasting design kits so i have this little cook's coat somehow i don't know how i still have this i usually sell all of my like clothing items that i get because i just i never wear them but somehow I kept that, so that'll be our little chef. I also thought it would be funny to put a sea bass somewhere, so I might see if he fits on this rock. The sea bass must pay for his crimes. I'm also gonna drop a tomato back here, just cause, you know, food. Now I also have this serving cart. I say let's put it like right here. And on top of it, I want to put that little spice spice rack thingy. Where is that? It's on the floor. Okay. There we go. Cute. Oh, let me put another iron garden table here. And now we have two tables that we can put stuff on. So I have some of this that I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not going to embarrass myself by attempting to pronounce it. If I do get more fishy recipes. Oh, actually, wait. I do think I have a little fish recipe. Oh, wait. I actually do have this recipe for grilled sea bass. Oh, that's why I have the sea bass. Not for, not for decoration for eating okay sorry sea bass we're gonna go cook you into a meal yummy okay so we'll replace this one i also want to move some trees so just ate a little tomato you know just girly things i would love some sort of like signs and like freaking simple panels i'm really feeling the loss on the simple panels <laughs> like even so i could just make like a silly little like menu let's do another tree right here i'm just trying to like frame the whole area with trees trees maybe that'll help it I'm gonna do a little puddle right here i'm gonna put one over here on the side same over here honestly i have like more empty space than i thought i was gonna have so i'm just trying to fill it up with trees and then we'll do one right here and then honestly i'm kind of feeling some fencing would be good that would really help out I'm gonna go swipe that from my inventory or or most likely have to go craft it that's probably what i'm gonna have to do i got some fencing i also have our last iron garden table that we're gonna be using i'll probably put it hmm, what's a good little spot i don't know somewhere here-ish let's put this one on a rack actually i'm gonna rearrange some stuff because i don't know i'm seeing some issues with this so i'm gonna pull this table set 
kind of like way back here. I'll put some little leaves, of course, for our table to be on. And I'm going to place this little chair on the side like this instead of on this side because it would kind of be in the way of the ordering location. I'm just going to turn this. Then we'll put our last table setting right here, kind of where this one was, but like just slightly off. And then that should be, yeah, that should be good. Now I feel like I have more room for the fencing. I wanted to do it like in a line from this tree and it just wasn't working with how the tables were before. So now I can fulfill my dreams. Okay, I did them kind of staggered like this by accident, but this is low key kind of cool. And then we put something tall here. Like we put like some, like a lamp or something. Wait a sec. And then I'll just make the right ones extended a little bit just to enclose it a bit more. Then I'm going to put fencing over here just to enclose this side. And that's all my fencing. So it works out. Okay. We have some stuff to order. We still have some more details to put here. So let's go take a journey to the Nook Stop. I'm so torn between the street light, a regular street lamp, or the curved street light. Ugh, I have no idea. I think I'm gonna go regular street lamp. I was also debating doing those like really big like bush topiary thingies, but they're kind of expensive. So I'm gonna go for the cheaper option and I'm gonna go ahead and order two more ranch chairs. And I'm gonna go ahead and go to tomorrow. Okay, on luck, it is Friday, September 16th. Flick is here. That means I can sell all my little buggies. Okay, but before we get into the rest of what we were doing, I'm gonna go ahead and do my daily routine. Today, I'm just gonna check my mail and plant my money tree. Because if you guys don't mind, I wanna get straight back into the decorating. I will take a quick peek at our flowers today. I don't have to water them again because it's raining again. But another thing I saw on the way here is we once again unintentionally made a blue flower, which is great. So we have a blue windflower and I'm actually really excited about that because I was thinking to myself like, oh, I would love some blue flowers for the little restaurant to match with the blue theme. But I was like, dang it, I don't have any. But now, now I do have some. I'm gonna check the shop really quick before we get into it. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Oh, I need that. Now, do you have the umbrella today? Once again, that is a no. Let's see how much the incline has now. 1,300 bells. I mean, that's not bad. You know, it's saving me a little bit of money. Okay, I'm gonna throw these street lamps here and the other one goes right here looking nice looking snazzy we can do our ranch chairs so i'll put one there and then the other one can go right here on the side just like that and then let's see i need to put something else here let's just do some dinnerware these people already left they already ate these are all their dirty dishes if you want to come get a lick you can but i don't recommend it sadly i gotta destroy this rock but it's worth it because i want to put a tree right here and you know what Nothing's going to stand in my way. Now I think I'm going to start up the Island Designer app and I think we'll put our first blue flower right here. But anywhere that I feel could benefit from some in-game pathing is exactly where I'm going to throw some down. I might put kind of like a little path right here. I feel like that would be nice because this is feeling kind of empty. And then we'll do some little confetti like on the sides, just like this. Oh, I forgot to buy bushes from Leaf yesterday. <laughs> No, I was gonna buy a bunch of bush starts. Ugh, it's okay. I have been meaning to go on another island tour because I keep forgetting to do that. But anyway, I'm just gonna put a short little section of this custom design path just to kind of fill in this empty spot here and to kind of guide you towards the little checkout area. All right, I like how that's looking. I like it, I like it. Now I'm just gonna go in with a few more custom designs and hopefully that will help make everything look a little more spring core. Uh, maybe there's a few more details we can add. Uh, bushes, bushes are definitely a detail that we need to add. Let's just go on a little cap and island real quick. Yes, yes, we got one with the glowing moss. Oh, yes. Give me all of this. Give me this bottle. Oh, wait, do I have a full inventory? Okay, no, we're good, we're good. Give me the bushes. All right, I feel pretty successful with our little haul here. I'm gonna go back home. Now that we got the bushes, we can start finishing off this build. I'm gonna put one right there. I'm also gonna put one on each side over here. This is like the only symmetrical area I've made on this whole island. <laughs> I usually don't go for like symmetry and stuff, but hey, sometimes I'm just in a silly goofy mood. I'll also do some glowing moss. I mean, why not? Why not? And then I'm thinking the party lights 
perfect here. Oh, yes, yes. I'll also do some glowing moss because why not? And then I'm saving these two little blocks right here for some blue flowers whenever we get some more blue flowers, hopefully soon. And then I have a little teensy bit of space in this corner. I'm thinking I want to put some fish there, like actual fish that I just fish up. <laughs> you know, it's their stock. So let's just grab some. We've got a horse mackerel. Oh, and we got a we got a fish recipe for that. Oh, that is perfect. Okay, I need some flour. Oh, I know I have some wheat somewhere. We'll go make that in just a moment. And we got a buffer fish. And we got this scary looking thing. Okay, there we go. I put some of the fish there. They're fine. They're chilling, you know. They have no idea what's coming. And now I'm going to go grab the wheat to make that fish recipe. That couldn't have worked out for the better. I'm feeling really good about this. Honestly, guys, like in the beginning, when we left off yesterday, I wasn't feeling all too confident about the restaurant build. I was like, hmm. This might be one of my lamest builds, but truly I am feeling a lot better about it now. Oh, and I had a bunch of fish here already. I could have just came and got these. Oh, wow. This actually looks so freaking delicious. Like, I would love to have that right now. I don't think I've ever had horse mackerel. I'm not that big of a seafood person, really. I don't like shrimp. I haven't really tried, like, crab leg, I don't think. I don't like octopus. I just like kind of more mild fish like salmon or tilapia stuff like that i'll eat all right so just for some finishing touches that we can do right now of course weeds and i thought it would be fun to use this little conch shell like dropped here like this kind of like as little decoration because it's a seafood restaurant so anyway i'm liking this symmetry out here and then total chaos when you go in. It's perfect. I'm also putting some vines right here, just like pure decoration. And yeah, I think that's it. So I'm gonna call this done. The only thing I'm missing are some blue flowers on these two tiles here, but I mean, I hope you can let that slide. <laughs> this is like a 99% done, all right? So with that being done, I believe that is our second build. Is that the second one? The only other build I've done has been like the little sweet shop over here. <gasps> Wait, is there a rainbow? There's a rainbow! This is not a drill, Winnie. Do you see that in the sky? Okay, but what? Okay. Oh, this is redemption for Winnie. She's looking for a locust. Okay, sure. I'll, I'll catch one for you. Is this a locust? Please be a locust. Uh, it's a long locust. Does this count? She wants to see a migratory locust. What? There's different types of locusts? I mean, I guess it's good to catch bugs anyway right now because Flick is here. I saw something. Where'd you go? Felicity's chasing it. Oh, no, there's two. I don't know where to go. Come here. Uh, no, it's another stupid long locust. Don't give me the long ones. No, long locust. Okay, you know what? Go. Rice grasshopper. <laughs> No. Oh, and from our balloon, I totally forgot to look. We got the yellow leaf pile, which I'm actually very, very excited about. Let's see what this takes. This takes acorns. Okay, I have some acorns, so we should be able to make some of those. You, come here. Long locust. Why? <laughs> okay, I'm going to sell whatever I've got to flick right now. Take all these stupid long locusts. I don't even want to look at them. Okay, so I guess we're going on a locust hunt. I'm going to go ahead and clear out this inventory and then we'll just get ready to do that. So I did get distracted. I went ahead and made one of our yellow leaf piles and I also made some nets for our little locust hunt. And then I just started picking up all the little buggies that I had saved over by my house. You know, I like to hoard the bugs and fish to sell them to CJ, to sell them to Flick. It's just more profitable that way. So I went around and I caught, I swear, I swear to you, almost every locust I could find. And they were all the stupid long locusts. I did find a lost item and took some pictures of Winnie under the rainbow, popped a balloon that had a fan inside of it, got a bug model of a yellow butterfly and sold my first inventory, not really a full inventory, but a inventory of bugs to flick, including a scorpion. And I did get 35,600 bells for that. I found a nice spot for our yellow leaf pile, got distracted hitting my rocks, I guess. I think I was trying to earn nook miles um, at the same time as catching all these bugs, perhaps. Sold my second round of bugs to Flick. I only got 7,950 for that and then sold another round. I was just honestly, it was, it was getting bad. It was only 2,000. So I went and shook this little money tree that was by my house because I was getting desperate. And for some reason, I decided that now was a good point to pay off my home loan. I only had a hundred thousand bells left on it and I immediately went out and took my next home loan and got in debt of 348,000 bells. 
cool. Don't think I'm gonna pay that one off. I did switch my ordinance to the beautiful island ordinance so that I could potentially get some more hybrids going. And then I wanted to do a little bit more decorating for the day. So there's this cute little pathway that I have that's leading towards the restaurants. You'll get a better look at it in a second, but it's this cute little like diagonal pathway between these two like cliff areas that I have. And I thought I would make this really pretty like gardeny walkway full of flowers. So of course I started out by clearing out the area as much as I possibly could. And I did want to include a little picnic blanket area because I thought it would be so perfect. Surrounded by flowers, I thought it would be adorable. I'm, yes, I'm reusing this theme. I'm well aware of it, but you know what? It's good, okay? It's good. I also shot down a balloon in the middle of me doing all of that and just decided to finish off that little blankie and put down a tree right behind the picnic blanket just for a little bit of shade, you know? Because it's not fun to have a picnic in the hot sun. You got to have some shade. That's That way it's nice and cool and it's a little more refreshing. I opened up that present. It was money. Thank you. And then I just started going in with the flowers. I just wanted to have them kind of lining those cliffs, just being on those edges of the cliffs kind of. And then I was going to have a path going just straight down the middle. So that's kind of what I was doing. I was just scrounging up flowers from everywhere and just trying to arrange them somewhat nicely. Also trying to put a few bushes and a few trees along as well because I didn't want it to be too boring and just too full of flowers. I wanted some extra interest here and there. So I just kept going back and forth, getting some flowers, coming back, putting them here. Honestly, I was just getting ones that were already fully grown because I just wanted that effect. I didn't want to wait for them to grow in. So I was just literally stealing them from random places around my island. <laughs> I was stealing them from like the big flower fields that I had already made. Like I would just scoop up one or two and I was like, okay, hopefully they'll just like spread and like duplicate and fill in these areas that I'm like stealing them from. I also decided to add some vines along the cliff just to make it easier to get up, but also like to make it cute, you know? I think the vines add so much and I'm so mad at myself that I haven't been like utilizing them more. They're so cute and they're just adorable and they're perfect. And I love that they can go on the cliff even if there's an item there in front of it. At least I think. I mean, they go there when there's flowers in the same spot. So I was also adding some custom designs here and there where I could and some glowing moss. And I was putting down some fencing again, just to make it up a little bit to make it a little more interesting looking and I don't know just I love fencing I love this log fencing so I thought it would make a great addition so I added some by the little picnic table as well and added our paper kite butterfly model as well did I say picnic table I meant picnic blanket but you know same same difference one you sit on a bench one you sit on the floor that's the only difference <laughs> And then I did decide to use the island designer tool just because I thought it would be a little bit easier to place down the path with the tool. I don't know. I just thought of using the little like custom designs app on my phone and I was like, mm, no, I'm good. I'll just use the island designer app. So that's what I started doing. Just doing my typical technique of starting with the outside edges and I started with the bottom and then brought it all the way down. I didn't think that this path was going to lead anywhere so I just kind of ended it there. You know there wasn't I mean I could have brought it to the left. There's a little walkway that goes kind of down into the left but I also didn't want to overuse this path too much you know what I mean. Whatever. So I just ended it where I ended it and it was all fine all dandy and then I just started bringing it back up the other side just marking that out and same thing here. I didn't really have anywhere to lead it like except I could have let it to the front of the restaurant but I don't know I thought it would look weird and it would make the path way too long so I decided just to end it where I ended it and I instead have an empty kind of space but it's fine I can always fill that in later and then just going in with the middle piece to finish it all off and just uh, look at it all come together very nice very nice so that is the path all done and I thought it was really nice and I just added a little moss ball. I thought that was nice. Some more custom designs, just whatever details I felt would be good here and there. I decided to fill in the picnic blanket with a cake and then some chalky milk to wash down that cake. And then I put a tree down and I put a little rock custom design and I decided that I wanted to decorate this little section right here next to this waterfall. I was like, why not? I'm already decorating this whole area to the left of it this whole walkway so might as well just fill this in we just need a couple of things here and there so i was just doing custom designs i did that little moss pond stone thingy it's really cute i really love that item i wish i could customize like what goes inside the water like Oh, cherry blossoms, maple leaves, flowers. I thought that would be so cute. But anyway, I just did like a little mushroom platform, some little chicks, uh, you know, just 
random stuff here and there. Whatever I could put there to just fill it in. I don't know. Whatever worked, worked. And then I shifted up to the top end of the pathway and there was this awkward little empty kind of like divot um, to the right of the restaurant fencing stuff. So I was like, oh, I could fit something in here. And I thought the simple well fit beautifully, fit perfectly. So I decided to stick that in there and put some custom designs on the bottom of it first. And then I swapped out a bush for that little potted plant and instead put the bush behind push that little well in and then I had two pieces two tiny little pieces of fencing but they worked out so perfectly to just kind of like outline the whole area and make like a little mini entrance even though there's nothing for you to do if you walk in there but still and then I put some glowing moss and a garden lantern and here's what it looked like and that butterfly having spectacular timing thank you but yeah I thought this was a really nice transition area just like beautifully decorated super duper cute I really loved it so that is gonna be it for today I did not end up finding that stupid locust for Winnie so I have failed Winnie twice I am so sorry Winnie we need redemption badly but I swear I could not find it anywhere I was looking for so long those things don't exist I swear anyway I hope you enjoyed today's episode I had a lot of fun making it so thank you so so much for watching please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you tomorrow.